Hi guys, welcome to our Lucky Art Online paint shop for today. Today, we are going to be learning how to paint our freaking favorite baby Yoda. I know that he is my favorite. I'm super excited to paint him with you guys. Um, so guys, my name is Susie Klein White. I am your um, art teacher for today. I am not a strict teacher by any means. Okay, so what we wanna do here is we wanna create a great, positive, creative atmosphere. We want you guys to follow along at home while I paint up here step-by-step step on how we're gonna paint our little baby Yoda, okay? And it's gonna be so awesome to hang up in your house, in your bedroom. This is for the adults and for the kids, guys. Um, I know that he looks a little complicated, but honestly, we'll do step-by-step. Step and let's just let loose it's gonna be so fun don't even stress or think about it this is a way to kind of let your you know your feelings go and just kind of get in and do something fun so baby yoda totally the most i mean it's gonna be so great okay so guys first off i'm gonna get right into it as soon as I sit that down. We're gonna go over our supplies first, guys. Just a quick little rundown so you all know what you need in case you missed it. Okay, so we're gonna need something to paint on. I have chosen for today, um, this is an eight by 10 canvas, but guys, there's so many options of things that you might have around your house um, to paint on. Okay, a wood. Um, you can use a larger canvas, you can use a smaller canvas, you can use something weird that you find in your house. Um, poster board. Um, I mean, just really uh, plain paper if you just want, you know, a little instruction and just to kind of like, not something to hang up, but just something fun to do. Um, you can use slate, which is awfully fun to paint on, but you're gonna use a little bit more paint if you're using a piece of slate. Um, but there are tons of things to paint on, guys. I know some friends that paint on screen. So just grab something, anything. Um, I have my canvas horizontal just so I can put the ears in, make that really big. Um, and if you're using a canvas, that's probably the best way to go on this. But like I said, I'm not a strict teacher, guys. If there is something that I do that you wanna change up or you wanna do a little different, please, we want you to be as creative as possible here at Lucky Art Studios. Um, so let's see, what else do we need? I'm super excited that I'm getting off track. Okay, so I like to have a couple different size brushes. I have a small brush. I like to have a, like a medium and then a big one. We probably won't need the medium. I just kind of have it out. If you have a couple different brushes, it's always fun to kind of play around and see, you know, what works best for you. Um, of course, different brushes do different things, but for a simple paint shop like this, guys, we just try to use, you know, whatever you have on hand. I don't want you to have to go out and buy professional brushes or anything like that. We also, I like to use for stuff like this, um, just a paper plate, guys, or if you have like a plastic plate or a palette, um, paper plate will do just fine for your paint. Uh, for today, our paints are gonna be white, black, green, and like a brown, and any brown will do. We're gonna do some mixing. Um, I always use acrylic craft paint. If you have um, like nicer grade paint, that's perfectly fine or if you already have paint and it's a different medium and you wanna work in that, that's cool too. Uh, but I like to use the um, acrylic craft paint just because moms, if these, if you're doing this with your kids, it's a little bit more readily available to you and um, you can get a lot more bang for your buck as far as getting a lot of colors. Um, also, uh, the great thing with this, it dries really quickly, so when we're instructing, we can kind of go from step to step and it's time to dry. If you need time to dry, you can always pause the video and come back to it later, which is the beauty of the online class. Um, I also have a little cup. Mine's pretty uh, gross, sorry. Um, but you can use a plastic cup or just an old cup that you don't use anymore. This is strictly for paint water, guys. Don't drink the paint water, it's very easy to do. Okay guys, um, I also have, um, I mean, I paint a lot, so of course I have a old rag, but paper towels, um, anything that you have like that to just kind of like wipe your hands or wipe whatever like might fall on the floor or anywhere. Um, if you're extremely messy, you might need a drop cloth. It's true. 
Um, or um, you can paint on easel, like I have a floor easel, they have tabletop easels, but guys, honestly, if you wanna put a piece of newspaper down or just a, a tablecloth or you have old table to work on that you're not really too worried about the paint, just lay it down and lay it right on the table and we'll get right started. So there we go, that's our supplies. Um, like I said, uh, of course, if you wanna add something, you have some different colors you wanna come into play, please feel free. Um, of course, you have seen the picture of what we're gonna paint. Sometimes I find it uh, very helpful to have a picture like I do off to the side to kind of work from, work off of that, as long as also you're going along with painting with me. Okay, guys, one more thing. It's kind of a trick tip that I like to say. I always stash a piece of chalk. Um, if you guys are stressed about putting paint right on as I'm doing it, you can always grab a piece of chalk. Chalking out um, the outline of your picture might make you feel a little bit better about applying paint to it if you feel like you wanna get it completely perfect. Um, this is gonna be fun. So, I mean, mine might not even come out completely perfect. Um, so, we'll see. But um, using chalk is kind of a tip that I give um, just to draw and because it's easy to erase with a wet paper towel. Um, and then once you get the sketch on, once you paint over top of it, the chalk does disappear. That is the only thing that I learned in college art classes, guys. Okay, so I'm ready to get started. I hope you are ready to get started. We're gonna get our paint ready. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and go. All right, so I'm gonna take my smaller brush because I'm gonna do kind of the outline of him first. I am going to dip it very lightly in the water and then kind of dry it. You don't want it to be drippy. You just want it to be a little damp, okay? So I'm gonna get right into the green. We're gonna do a lot of different shading. These are so basic, just four colors, which is really not typical, but I mean, we're gonna go with it. And uh, guys, it's kind of hard because I'm, I'm painting off to the side. So bear with me so I can stay in the screen. Okay, all right. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the head. The head's gonna be in the center, round. We're gonna make sure that we leave plenty of room for our ears, okay? So taking the green, we're gonna go in, we're gonna make the forehead. Now the forehead's kind of bumpy, okay? So we gotta keep that in mind. All right, bumpy forehead, get ready. Are we ready? All right. Like I said, guys, at any time you wanna stop the video, you need to take a break or pause, go back to something, you're probably, um, I mean, I'm gonna buzz through this so as not to bore you, um, but we, you can definitely stop and finish what you're doing and then move on. There is no shame in that. All right, so we're gonna make his face a little bumpy at the top, see that? And then we're gonna bring the face down, okay? Just like this. I'm not gonna completely touch the bottom because you know what? His little cape thingy is gonna come up top, so we don't have to do that. All right, so now we're gonna make the ears. I'm gonna make them down low. Mine, I might even, this one's probably gonna go off the canvas, so get ready. Right? All right, so we got Baby Yoda ear, right? All right, then we got another one, okay? Same thing. Down low. There we go, all right. So, I'm looking at it. It's kind of hard to tell. I think we did okay so far. All right, Baby Yoda. This ear looks a little small. So, we never stress. We never stress. When it comes to painting, people say to me, I, I teach a lot of these guys in person. Um, this is not my first online class, but I typically do them in person. And a lot of people say, I messed up, I messed up. Guys, really there's nothing that you can do that we cannot fix, okay? Just like I made that ear a little bit bigger because I didn't like it. You can always start small and go bigger. It's a little bit harder to start big and go small, but if the paint is still wet, grab a wet paper towel and you can always erase. People don't really understand. With the water-based paint, you can really scrub and, and kind of get it off if you feel like you've made a huge mistake. 
But that being said, mistakes we kind of work with and we make it work, okay? So we've got the head, it's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm with it, I'm liking that so far. Okay, so now guys, what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna paint the whole thing green. We're gonna come back and do our shading in a minute. But first, we're just gonna paint them, okay? I'm trying to make this super simple because I know that we have adults and kiddos watching. And honestly, guys, here's the thing. This can be attuned to your level of painting, okay? So if you are like an expert painter, you can always take your time and add so much shading and so much detail. Or if you're a beginner, you could start with just following me. This is this is a beginner event. Even though some people look at me, I'm like, baby Yoda, that's like a face, that's difficult. But guys, honestly, anybody can paint anything. It's just the level of practice that goes into it to create something even more realistic every time. So we try to make every class beginner worthy. So even painters who have a little more experience can do it. And even the kiddos can come in and do it too. So really this is just about having fun guys, having something to do at home, grabbing your kids, having a fun time. And there we go. All right. So we've got perfect. This is perfect. The day that I'm actually painting this on guys, which I'm sure that when you paint it will not be the same day. Painted it on St. Patrick's Day. So what a perfect painting. Our little green guy. All right, so I am going to clean my brush, spin it around in the water. I make sure that it's nice and dry, guys. Kiddos, listen. Here's something that we like to teach when I do private lessons. No drips, okay? We strive for no drips here when we clean our brushes, okay? So make sure you're getting it nice and dry. No dripping, okay? Because when your paint gets super, super wet, it'll run down or it'll take super, super long to dry. So it's going to take you a really long time to paint. Okay. So adults too, but it's a challenge. No drips. Okay. So next we're going to do, we're going to do his little shawl that kind of wraps around while we let the face dry a little bit. Okay. What we're going to do though, guys, is it's a little bit of a light brown. So we will be mixing. Yes, we will. So we're gonna take a little bit of this brown and I'm gonna see how I did that. I take a little bit and then I just put it in between the other color that I'm gonna mix it with. Okay, so that's gonna make us a little light brown, right? Yeah, all right, that looks great. Right where we want it. Right where we want it, all right. So we've got it. You can always mix colors, guys, light to dark. Blending is fun. If you don't have access to a ton of colors, get your basics. If you get your basics, you can really create any color from the basics, right? All right, so now we're gonna do his little shawl. Are we ready? Okay, this is gonna be magical. You guys set? All right. Put it up here right against the ear, okay? All right. We're gonna do it over here too. Baby Yoda, we will, oh my gosh, Baby Yoda. I hope this turns out so adorable. I'm really excited. I'm gonna make that a little wavy and go all the way off to the side. Okay, once again, I'm gonna color this in guys. We're gonna go back and we're gonna shade in a minute. Guys, if you are new to my classes, I have been in the art business for 10 years professionally. I've been painting since I was a kid. I'm a self-taught artist. Um, I do my own work as well. In the past five years, I've been doing teaching classes such as this. So what we do is we, I've been doing adult classes for five years. And then the past three years, we've gotten into events that are 100,000% kiddo friendly. 
because we love, love, love to see the creativity that this brings out in kids. So even if you get some spots that are darker and some that are lighter, that's perfect. You know why? Because with fabric, you know how when fabric kind of lays, it's a little, you know, you get some light spots, you get some darker spots. So it doesn't always have to be a perfectly shaded one color. I actually prefer it not to be. But like I said, I'm not a strict teacher, guys. I am always go with the flow, whatever you feel. Because at the end of the day, this is your baby Yoda. This is going to be hanging hopefully somewhere special for you, okay? If this is your first artwork you've ever done in your life, I, well, we're so excited that you chose to paint with us here at Lucky Studios. We're super stoked about this. We have a ton of other classes to offer online, which is fun. Just easy to sit down, have a little instruction, and hopefully grow your creative side of your brain. All right, guys. I mean, I think that's looking great so far. I'm happy. Are you guys happy? All right, we're moving on, we're moving on. We're gonna clean our brush again, okay? Feeling good. All right, guys, so now here's the part that maybe you guys might be scared of. We're gonna put the face on, okay? This is where people freak out. But don't freak out, because what I say, it's fun. It's just fun. All right, so we're gonna make the eyes first because I feel like that's a perfect, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do the nose first. Nose first, because it'll be easy to put the nose, then we'll be able to see where to put those eyeballs, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna take a little black, okay? Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay, so his eyes are big. We gotta really think about it, okay? Eyes are big right here, nose, Right, right here, okay? All right, are you ready? Right in the middle, okay? Cute baby Yoda, cute baby Yoda nose. Keep it in mind, cute. It's kind of like an upside down U. It's like a cup, like a half a circle, okay? I want to make sure you guys can see. Yeah, okay. I can see, I can see it. So hopefully that means you can see it too. All right. So I think that is perfect. Right in the middle. I'm loving it. We're going to do just a little tiny side. See that? Can you see it? It's just like a little hook on the nose. I'm going to actually take this off and give you guys a little close. There we go. That's good. Okay. Sometimes it's easier if I take it off the, the easel. All right, now we're getting serious. I took it off the easel. This is so serious. All right, Whew. I'm excited. Okay, so now for Baby Yoda, we're gonna connect it. We're gonna take this. Oh gosh, this was my Alexa. She says, no, I'm not talking to her. All right, so we've got the little Baby Yoda nose, okay. Baby Yoda's nose attaches to Baby Yoda has a little dip here, okay? Okay, and then that attaches to his mouth, right? So that's just a little V. I'm gonna paint that and then I'm gonna put it up. Okay, see that? Okay. So now get ready. This is serious, all right? Connects down here to Baby Yoda's mouth. Baby Yoda's mouth is kind of, it's not like this, it's kind of overturned, okay? So now, you're gonna wanna watch me before you apply this. Are you ready? You notice me looking back and forth at the picture, so you know I'm guys, I'm working with you. I'm trying to get it right for us. So here's the thing guys too, I will let you know. I should, I should not talk while I'm doing this because it's so serious. All right, so we got baby Yoda's mouth, okay? Is it cute? Okay, I know, it's not looking quite like baby Yoda yet, but it'll get there, promise, promise. 
All right. So here's the thing too, guys. As we are working along, of course, I know the background in the painting that I have is black, but please, you can always do any background color when we get to the end, okay? So keep that in mind as you're, you're working through this. All right, are we ready? We're gonna make some Baby Yoda eyes. We're gonna come back in and shade this in a little bit, okay? Because we will have some shading to do, promise. All right, so Baby Yoda's eyeballs are so big. Oh my gosh, are you ready? Can you see me? All right, there's one. And there's two. Okay, we're, we're getting there. All right, so we've got this. We're working, okay? We good so far? You guys seeing me so far? Perfect. All right, guys. So next, we're going to draw in the eyes. The, the actual black part of the eye is most of the eye, okay? So what I'm going to do is this, this eye, I feel like, is like super big. See how I made just the tiny little slit? That part's gonna be white, but the rest of the eye is gonna be completely black. I think that's why everybody loves Baby Yoda so much is because of his big eyes. There's something that appeals to people about little critters with big eyeballs. All right. So we've got that, right? I've got a couple little stray hairs here, guys. I'm gonna go in and correct. If it ever looks ragged or jagged, you can just go back and kind of smooth it over. Guys, also, if your paint seems kind of thick, you can always add just a teeny weeny bit of water, okay? Adding water thins the paint out a little bit, makes it glide a little more when you're doing like finer lines, okay? So we're feeling good, feeling good here. All right, so guys, I'm gonna take the black for now. Since we're still using black, I'm gonna keep with it, okay? I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna kind of go in, we're gonna shade these ears. Not all the way to the tippy top, but the center, because he's very shady. This is a, like a dark kind of picture of him. So that gives us the shade of the ear, right? I'm gonna go here on the side, same thing. Take the inside and leave just a little bit that looks like the rim of the ear, okay? We're doing good so far? Everybody happy? All right, so also, what we're gonna do, got these big cheeks, right? Big cheeks. Just gonna emphasize those a little more. I'm gonna go down here and I'm actually gonna shade, I'm gonna make this a little darker. Okay. Just shade it up. Okay. All right. So there's our shading. Our cute little mouth. See how I keep going over it, right? Okay. I'm gonna bring these up a little more and we're gonna make some eyebrows, okay? So we've got this shaded in, this is the mouth, right? Because the mouth is, is smaller. We've got the shading, all right. And then we're gonna do some little eyebrows up here. 
because his face is like all crinkly, right? Okay. Crinkly, cute, it's cute, cute, cute. All right. I'm gonna shade in the sides by the ears a little bit. Her shading. All right, so we're looking good. We've got the eyebrows, right? Cute, all right, we've got this. I'm gonna clean my brush again, okay? I know guys, look, he looks like he's got a beard, but give it time, we're gonna get there. We're getting there, all right. Clean our brush again. All right, I'm taking white now, okay? I'm gonna fill in little part in his eyes. There we go. Now we're working. Because if you need more time for your eyes to dry to do this, take your time. Take your time. I'm only here to instruct you and you could always come back. Okay, here we go. All right, so we've got that. Here's the cute part, guys. Always to make cute eyeballs, we're gonna make some little like reflective dots in the eyes. Always makes the eyes cuter. Now that we're in our white, guys, we're still gonna keep working here, okay? We're gonna make a lip, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to go through and shade a little bit. We're going to take a little bit of our green, like I did before. I'm going to set this down so I can show you. Same thing. We're going to make a little lighter green. We're going to take that white. We're going to take it. We're going to mix it with a little bit of the green. We're going to make a light green. So see how we do that? We don't have to actually go out and buy a light green because we can make our own. All right. So we're gonna fill in some light spots. We're gonna fill in right here, top of the ear, top of his head. Because you know, Baby Yoda is a baby, but he's got all those wrinkles. Right? We're gonna go right over the eyebrows. We're gonna go right in here and kind of color the nose lighter. We're gonna go down here at the mouth where we put that white and we're gonna color that in underneath that little divot. Okay, all right. Look, it's so cute. Baby Yoda. All right, we're doing good. We'll go over here on this ear. All right. And guys, the more detail once you get, like if you have the picture and you're looking at it and the more detail you wanna get, like that's cool. Would love to see it. All right, so I know I want a little haywire here on the bottom, right? So it's a little bit too much dark. I'm not liking it. It looks too shady. So I'm gonna clean this brush. See, this is what I'm talking about. If we make a mistake and we don't like it, I'm just gonna fix it. So I'm gonna clean my brush out. I'm gonna get some more of that light brown that we had for the outfit. And I'm gonna come up here a little closer kind of get rid of some of that black, right? There we go, much better. He was looking a little bit like he had a beard. In the painting, in the picture, it's so shady. 
So we'll just bring that up a little more. See how we fix that? Oh my gosh, baby Yoda. He is so cute, I can't even. All right, I'm sorry, baby Yoda just gets me like, gets me going. Gets me really excited because he's so freaking cute. All right, so we're just gonna keep like filling in some more white. This is where we just get in like more of the shading guys that you want. And of course, if you are like a professional artiste, you're going to come with me and keep shading. Guys, if you are happy with your Yoda right now, please feel free to be like, hey, you know what? I'm happy and I'm just going to work the background. So like I said before, with the ba with these backgrounds, guys, you can always pick any color. Um, you could do different designs, like you could do stars or anything like that. Oh, I didn't shade down here. Hold on. See, I get to talking and then I forget what I'm doing. I'm trying to keep this in a good time slot for you guys, okay? Because I know, I know that some of my participants are kiddos, so I want to keep it, I want to keep it rolling for you guys, okay? So here we go. I'm taking the dark brown now, guys. I hope I'm not too going too fast. I'm gonna take a moment and take a breath. I clean my brush. I put on the dark brown. Dark brown, not mixtured, okay? And then we're gonna go in here. Usually when I'm at my events and I forget something, the kids will always remind me. Miss Susie, you forgot this part. I'm on my own now, guys. See what happens. I'm wreaking havoc. All right, so we're gonna do dark around the outside. Okay. This is like his little armhole. Okay, it's a little round at the bottom. Give him another little armhole here at the bottom too for his arms to come out. And we're just gonna do some some lines here, because this is like the lines in his little tiny baby Yoda robe that we love so bad. Right? All right. Oh yeah. All right, we're getting it. We're getting there. Baby Yoda. All right. So now that I've caught myself up, oh my gosh, all right. Now, now we can, we can get back to it. All right, guys, if you wanna stick with me, we're gonna do a little bit more shading on the face. If not, you guys can go ahead and you can work on the background. I mean, guys, the, the great part about the background, we can make it blue with some stars, Star Wars, yeah. Uh, we can make it, I mean, and what's your favorite color? Red, yellow. Any paint that you have hanging around, you can even go in and do it black. I mean, it's totally, totally up to you guys. Honestly, I'm gonna make the chin just a little bit tinier. If that's okay with you guys. It's the beauty of tweaking, right? See, there we go. I think that's a little better, right? I'm gonna go in with my green. I'm gonna add a little bit more green here. This at this point, guys, just look where you need to kind of tweak it. Add some shading. bit more green here. The blending parts of the green, like where the white is, like feel free to just get in there, guys. If this is, you know, I'm gonna make him a little more wrinkly. If you want to make another dot in his eye, I feel like I do.
There's something about those big eyeballs. They just get me. It's kind of hard to, to see when you're painting off to the side, guys. I'm sorry for like moving, moving around, moving the canvas around so much. So honestly, I could keep tweaking this painting all day. And so can you, of course. Just adding more light green. I mean, I'm like in love. Maybe add a little bit more cheek here. The fun part is, is that the end is never the end. I'm always tweaking, 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 changing, 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 because it's just fun. The more, sometimes I tell people, beginners, guys, less is more. But sometimes if you're just painting and you don't really have anything else to do and you're just kind of chilling out, like, Experiment, keep shading, see how much you can do to really make him like look super cute. So I'm pretty happy with him. I think he looks adorable. I think I've just got all the highlights. I'm gonna do a quick background paint job, okay? So now when I paint the background, I usually use a bigger brush because it covers more area unless you're doing like some, maybe some like stripes or something. Um, but what I'm gonna do guys, I think actually I'm, I'm gonna switch it up and I'm sorry because I told you guys in the beginning, these were all the colors you need, but maybe blue. Should we do blue? I'm gonna try it. This is just experimentation, okay? I want to keep this under 45 minutes. So we're going to do this super fast. Again, this is the paint that I use, acrylic, big bottles. You can also get them in the little bottles, totally fine. All right, so we're going to take the blue and I'm just going to paint the background right quick. Be very careful, guys, when you're painting around your baby Yoda to not get any paint on it. If you need to get a small brush in there, I'll show you in a sec. Take a small brush and then kind of outline them. So you don't have to get that big brush right close to him. And you can get in those tiny little areas like right there where his ear is, it's so tiny. It's gonna be really hard to get your big brush in there. But if you feel good about it, which I'm sure some of you do, just get right in there. If you have a lot of control over your brush and you're, you're a pro, I mean, I'm not even really that big of a pro. I'm gonna do a blue and then maybe throw some stars on it. What do you guys think? Sound good? Sound fun? I hope this like made your day. Any Baby Yoda really made my day, I think. We just keep painting. Guys, also, if you're gonna hang it up, might I suggest painting the sides? I'm not gonna do it because I'm actually holding the canvas. Painting the sides and the top and the bottom. You can even do it in the color of your background or sometimes what I like to do is I like to paint it just black just paint all the sides black because it looks really cool when you hang it up. It looks very like, it looks like a finished painting. So it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna flip it around here. And guys, don't be afraid to move your canvas around. If you feel better about like, I have a lot of people that I've seen painting upside down, just to get in those areas don't be afraid. There's nothing that you can do wrong here. This is all trial and error. And like I said, paint so easy. Even if you don't like it, you could always either get it off while it's still wet or just paint over it. Tweak it. 
But here's the thing, guys, and I want to remind everybody of this. This is super huge and super important. So all ears alive. Everybody's painting is always different because the way we do things in life, everybody's different. So how are our paint styles going to be any different than that? Of course not. Everybody's paint style will be different. Mine's going to be different from yours. What you think is appealing is going to be different than what I think. With art, you do you every time. It's always going to be different, but everybody's is always great and amazing. You know why? Because everybody being different is so amazing. It's good to be different. All right, guys, one last little thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some white. Star Wars, right? Let's get some stars in there, guys. You could do it like this, or you can even take the hard end of the, the paintbrush. Works just as well. And there we have it, baby Yoda. There he is, love it. Guys, if you would like to please sign your work or initial it, you can do it at the bottom. You can do it on the back. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's class, painting baby Yoda. There are plenty of more classes online um, from me. I'm Susie Kleinwhite at Lucky Studios. Um, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that we paint together real soon, guys. Have a good day. Keep painting.